another way to do um, version two. This is another way to solve this problem, and that is not lumping them all as a system. Maybe that kind of freaks you out and you don't want to think about it, gravity acting sideways or um, that other way bothers you. So here's another way to think of it. You just take the two masses and you draw free body diagrams for them, right? So we've got the 20 kilogram mass with, what are the forces acting on it? Well, there's no friction, so all we have is tension, right? FT. And then we have, but we don't know FT, but we do know it's going to accelerate in this direction. The 5 kilogram mass, we have FG acting down, and we have FT acting up, and we know it's accelerating down. So if I look at the 20 kilogram mass, the, the free body diagram, I would say, so for the, let's, let's analyze the 20 first of all. For the 20, we can see that um, MA equals the sum of the forces, so MA equals, well, it's just FT, so we get 20A equals FT. And, I mean, I kind of did it without really specifying specifically, but I'm taking that direction that's accelerating to be positive. So we're, we're left with this equation, and we're kind of stuck, because we don't know A, and we don't know FT. So this might seem like a dead end, but it's not because we also have this information, the five kilogram mass. And here we can go MA equals the sum of the forces, MA, and now the sum of the forces in this example, being really careful here, I'm gonna again take the direction it's acceleration to be positive. So I'm gonna get FG minus FT. So MA equals MG minus FT. And then we can say that this, since we're looking at the 5 kilogram mass, it's 5A equals, and now 5 times 9.8 minus FT, 5 times 9.8 is 4.49, so 5A equals 49 minus FT. Again, I've got two unknowns. So it feels like a dead end, but oh wait, I can see that the two unknowns are the same for both of these equations. So what we have here is a system of equations. That's equation one and that's equation two. So however you want to solve a system is how you would solve this. What I would do is I've got the FT equals 20A, why don't I just sub that in here? So taking this over here, I can see, I'm going to sub one into, two. oh this is a two. I'm going to sub one into two. Okay, so I get F, sorry, I get 5A equals 49 minus, instead of FT, I'm going to say 20A. So now I've got an equation with only one variable. So 25A equals 49A equals 49 divided by 25. 49 divided by 25, which equals 1.96 meters per second squared. Now I can take that and plug it back into the original equation one and get FT equals 20 times 1.96 and our answer is 39.2. So my for tension force is 39.2 newtons. So that's the second way you could solve this equation, solve this problem if you wanted to.